Hey everyone, it's Johnny, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to talk about the holiday 2021 Brick Collection that will be coming out in, I believe, late October on the 25th, I want to say. Don't quote me on that. Um, but I got to go through um, all of the bricks and warm about a cube of them uh, to compare them and see how they performed. And I do have thoughts, so we're going to dive right in. And just in case you didn't notice, I didn't notice didn't know I did do a cold sniffs kind of first impressions of these so we're gonna see how they kind of like compared and contrasted to what I first thought about these bars so without further ado let's dive right in with spiced orange pomander so this one is uh as it might suggest by the name it is that spiced orange pomander scent so you do get like a clove note you get the cinnamon note you get the sweet orange and it does give me, at least on cold, it gives me, what is it, orange um, cinnamon roll vibes from Better Homes and Gardens, which I was not a fan of at all. Uh, but when you warm it, the the orange in this is more of like a sweet orange, like it's a, a sweet citrus orange rather than a um, kind of like harsh traditional citrusy orange. Um, and I think that balances out the spiciness of this bar that would otherwise have been like overwhelming for me. Um, so I didn't mind it and it does perform well. It, it throws really well. Um, I will say it and I'll probably say it a billion times in this video. All these bars, well, that was a weird sound. All of these bars, um, performed really well. And, uh, with maybe one exception where one was a little bit like less of a scent monster than the other ones, but they were all, they were all strong performers. Um, would, would this be club worthy for me? Probably not. And that's probably because less of the fact that it's not a well-balanced scent, but I'm just really not a spice category person. So I didn't mind warming this one, surprisingly. Um, but I don't know that I'd go out of my way to get any more of it or warm it again. And I don't, or I wouldn't personally put it in my club. Now, if you like cinnamon or spice or clove sort of scents, you'll probably love this. Um, and if you're looking for a good pomander scent for the holidays, this definitely would fit the bill because you do get that sweet orange. And I think that it's, like I said earlier, the saving grace of the scent for me is the fact that it's a sweet orange, not just a pure citrusy orange without that sweet sort of um, bright tone to it. So that is a sweet orange. Yes, yeah, sweet orange. I almost said spiced. Sweet orange pomander. <laughs> Next up, we'll talk a little bit about Vanilla Cinnamon Maple. So this one, this one's, this one's nice. Um, you get the vanilla. It's kind of a little bit of a buttery vanilla. It's a little bit reminiscent of vanilla bean buttercream without being overwhelmingly as sweet or as buttery. And I think it's because you have the maple sort of maple syrup vibe in here that's really helping kind of balance that out or the vanilla is balancing out the very sweetness of maple syrup. And you do kind of get a cinnamon note to this. It's more of like a bakery cinnamon um, rather than like a red hot cinnamon. And I don't mind it. It's really nice. It, it really reminds me of, um, I want to say it's Better Homes and Gardens again, maple sugar drizzle, I want to say. It's very similar along the same veins of it. Um, I don't know that it's necessarily a dupe, but pretty close. Um, and I feel like I've smelled similar scents to this in other brands, especially around holiday time. Um, my biggest critique with this scent is less on um, the bar itself and that it's just a very um, safe sort of bar. It's not particularly unique. It doesn't stand out amongst other traditional holiday scents, where um, some of these other bars have a little bit more of a, at least unique twist on what they're trying to do. This one is just like the safe bar of them. So this is pretty much gonna smell like what you would probably anticipate it smelling like. Um, and it's nice and it's pleasant, um, but it doesn't necessarily do anything special that makes me go, ooh, ah, this is different or unique and whoa, crazy. Um, is this club worthy for me? <sighs> maybe. Um, and I, I say that with like, more like maybe not. Um, I 
like this scent. I'm enjoying it, but I don't know that I necessarily want to go out and purchase more of it. If I had more of it, I wouldn't be like mad about it. I might consider getting another brick of this just to have, but uh, in terms of like having perpetual amounts of this, I don't know that I'd run to the store or anything to kind of grab it or stock up and, you know, get any more. But that's again, personal. This is, this, if, if Sweet Orange Pomander was more spice central, um, this is more um, gourmand central. So if you like more of that like, bakery gourmand sort of buttery richness sort of scent in the background this is gonna be it and I feel like this one is also safe enough to warm fall winter possibly even like in transitional into spring I don't know if I'd call this a, a, a summer scent unless you're like a bakery fanatic but um it definitely could be a, a, across a couple seasons there um, mostly in the fall winter though I think would be the best sort of fit for a scent like this and I think it's because of the maple but that's kind of my take on that one it's nice but again I don't think it's like anything terribly unique or different next we have uh pink poinsettia and this one surprised me so on cold uh this is this is berries and like pink pomegranate like floral and an earthy note on cold, I don't really like this. It's like, mm, it's okay. Um, it gets that weird sort of like dirt, earthy, green note to it that is not particularly fond. Like, I'm not fond of it. It almost has a slight bitterness mixed with like the pomegranate tart. Um, but then you warm this and I'm pleasantly surprised. Like, you get a sweeter pomegranate berry mixture and you get like this fresh green, not super green, but like fresh, like airy florals, like out in the breeze, not necessarily like in a flower shop, not like earthy dirt. Um, the best way I can kind of describe this is, um, if I were to compare this to like the Mandalorian, which is more like geraniums and silver mint and earth of some sort, um, uh, <laughs> that was a terrible description but it's like on the fresh category side, this is kind of like a fruitier version of that. Instead of mint, we have like the pomegranate berry texture mix, but you still have that slight green freshness from it that is on the floral side of things without being distinctly, a you know, like, whoa, floral. Because I, I don't know if I know that a pink poinsettia smells a specific way. I'm sure it does. But you get a little bit of that floral behind the fruitiness uh, or the berry fruitiness, and it's quite nice. And then you have just a little waft of, like, it's kind of like you go to the grocery store and, like, you buy those, like, pre-potted little, like, African violets or something, like, whatever they're selling for the season, um, and then you go put it on, like, your window cell or something. It's, like, a waft of the dirt, like, the, the potting soil from that. You might get a little waft of it here or there that kind of grounds their otherwise kind of flighty, fruity, light, sort of airiness to this. It's quite nice. Um, it's quite fresh and fruity. Uh, I honestly don't, I, if I didn't know it was poinsettia that was in here, I'm not so sure that I would consider this a holiday scent. Like I think it's great. I think it's a great spin and it's very refreshing compared to traditional, like the spicy and the gourmand and you know, that sort of stuff. But, like, I almost feel like this would be great as a spring scent, as a, even a summer scent, maybe not fall. Um, but then, I guess, holiday, too. Um, this would also work really well as a transitional scent. So, like, when you're trying to get out of the, like, Christmas pine tree and all that sort of heavy scents, and you want something a little bit lighter and fruitier, this might be a great one to reach for. Yeah, it's it's really nice. It's it's probably going to go in my club and stay there, uh, at least for a while. I'm probably at least going to get another brick of this one because I really did enjoy it. Um, I will say, out of the four, four... Johnny can count. Out of the five bricks that are being released, I felt that this one was the weakest of the five, but they're all kind of scent monsters. So weak is a relative term. Like, it's not weak in terms of, like, I have half of the brick in all my warmers and I can't smell it. It's more like I had a cube in this and it was holding its own just fine, but it wasn't like smacking me in the face. Um, 
which is nice because I don't necessarily need all of my scents to be like, you know, slapping me across my cheeks and being like, wake up, I'm here. Um, this is more of like a medium uh, overall performance, but it is nice and it's fresh and it's fruity and it's kind of nice compared to the other ones. It's very different from the other ones in my opinion. Um, so yeah, that's Pink Poinsettia. I approve of that one. And if you like sort of like that fruity sort of pomegranate mix, it is a slightly sweeter pomegranate. It's not super heavy or tart um, and it's balanced out by the other berries in there. So next we have a fuzzy. Next we have, speaking of, a fluffy fleece. Um, this one is the Heliotrope oh, Current and Musk. That's what it was, or something like that. Um, I don't get Current in this. I could be lying. Maybe Current wasn't in the scent notes, but I'm pretty sure it was. I don't smell Current in here. I didn't smell it here when it was on cold that much. Maybe, maybe a little. Um, definitely didn't smell it on warm. I don't know. Current was not there. And I usually can pick out a current in, in sort of any sort of scent that has it. What I do get is an overwhelmingly amount of like heliotrope. This is probably like, <laughs> this is almost like 85% heliotrope, 10% musk, and like maybe 5% current, if that. And I'm not kidding. Um, and heliotrope is a very powdery floral, apparently. Um, this reminds me of feminine deodorant. And I mean like under the arm deodorant, not like intimate care products deodorant. Um, this reminds me of like either those, I think it's the brand was called like, it was in a light blue container, ironically. Uh, a light blue container is called like Secret or something. It's like a women's deodorant, I wanna say. Um, it kind of reminds me of that. It also kind of reminds me of like, you get like those, my grandmother would get these like big kind of clear plastic um, talcum powder tubs. They're like cylindrical and they came with like a big powder puff on top and like you, you know, like dust it or whatever and then powder yourself, you know, so that you don't swell or whatever. Um, I'm not going to go over the intricacies of how to use talcum powder, but um, it gives me that vibe. It doesn't give me fleece blanket. I mean, I, I pulled out some of my fleece blankets and like sniffed them into my nostrils and this is not what they smell like. I get where they were going with the coziness. I feel like heliotrope is just such an overwhelming scent if that is in fact what is causing the powder deodorant scent situation. And then you added musk on top of it. I would have maybe considered throwing in like a cashmere note or even like a cotton note or something to kind of mellow it a little. Because otherwise, it, it really just smells like deodorant to me. And that's not a bad scent. So don't, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I don't hate it because, oh my gosh, it smells like deodorant. But, like, I don't necessarily know I want my house to smell like deodorant. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's a fresh scent. I guess there's that. Um, and also, this is a scent monster. So, just for reference, I know I've used two cute, well, I sampled out one of these, but... Uh, I used a cube for each of these bricks to try them out, and I could have gotten away with, like, a cube for equivalent, not a brick cube, um, with this one, because it was just overwhelming. Um, and this is one of those scents, too, where right out the gate, I'm not particularly fond, fond about it, but, like, two or three hours into warming, when it's slightly mellowed a little, then I don't mind it as much. Um, I think if you, like, laundry-esque scents or powdery sort of like fresh scents. You'll really enjoy this. If you like, if you like newborn nursery, you'll probably love this scent. This, is, this isn't this is baby powder, so don't get me wrong on that, but um, it is very powdery and it gives me that sort of reminiscent, like you need to really like those powdery sort of scents to really appreciate this to its fullest. So do I think it's an interesting scent? Yes. Do I think it's fluffy fleece? No. Um, it's definitely a deodorant. Um, it performs like a beast, so that's great. Is this club worthy for me? Probably not. Um, I don't mind it. Uh, I feel like if, if I play around with some wax mixing or melt mixing, 
maybe I'll find like a really great combination that'll kind of mellow out the deodorant vibes and make it a little bit more cozy. I don't know. If you have any suggestions, let me know. But on its own, I feel like personally, it just doesn't doing it for me. Like I, I know where they were trying to go with it, but it didn't, didn't quite reach there for me. So there's Fluffy Fleece. And finally, we have Spiced Eggnog. This is uh, very interesting because if you saw my warm sniffs, cold sniffs, I should say, you get a vanilla note, you get a buttery note, and then you get like a really weird artificial eggnog from a carton in the grocery store, like not fresh made eggnog. And you're like, ooh, uh, at least I'm like, ooh, because after making a recipe for fresh eggnog at home, and discovering the joys of real fresh eggnog, freshly made versus what you buy in the store that claims it's eggnog. Oh man, I will never go back. Anyways, long story short, uh, I had the worry that if this warmed and smelled more like the store-bought cartons, I would probably dislike this and it would just be a womp for me. I'm happy to report that that is not the case. Uh, this is amazing. Uh, it is definitely more of a vanilla buttery scent, but you do get that like eggy note to it. Um, like the egg white sort of, um, component to it. It's not like, don't think scrambled eggs or hard boiled eggs or like eggs gone crazy for breakfast. You're not going to get any of that, but you get that distinct scent. That's not just vanilla and butteriness or vanilla and sweetness. As far as spice goes, it's very mellow, if anything. Um, maybe like a sprinkle or a smidgen of some cinnamon or something in there. There's definitely a spice note in there. But when you warm it, you mostly get the vanilla, the slightly buttery eggnog sort of just in its purest form. And I adore the scent. This is going in my club. I will probably buy another brick of this. Um, Cause I'll probably go through this pretty quickly. I love this scent. I, and I, the, oh my gosh, these, this one especially, this one was a scent monster. It lasted two days straight without losing steam for me. Um, like, I, I couldn't believe it. And I was just like, oh yes, keep, keep on bringing the spiced eggnog. It wasn't really that spice to begin with. Um, definitely, definitely a winner in my book. And I think it's, it's distinctly unique enough and it's an eggnog scent that you can tell is not just a vanilla scent. And I've smelled other eggnoggy-esque scents in other brands and they just didn't quite hit the mark. This one really does give me that sort of vanilla eggnog reminiscent vibe. So very, very impressed with this one. All right, let's kind of rank these. So in first place, probably not by like a mile, but, but by a good margin, probably spiced eggnog. Um, if I could only pick one of these to put in my club, it would be this one. And with good reason. And I, I just, I love the scent. It's great. It's so, it's a unique, like, eggnog scent. <laughs> it's a unique vanilla-based scent, and I really enjoy it. Um, next would probably be Pink Poinsettia. Uh, not because it's necessarily one of the strongest of the performers in this group, but it's one of the ones that I think could be used across multiple seasons very easily. Um, and it's it's a nice balance of fruity and fresh and a little bit of floral. Uh, and like I said, it's not distinctly only like holiday time. So I think that this one would also be club worthy for me. And this would be number two. Uh, number three, as safe as the scent is and maybe not um, as original as it could have been, Vanilla Cinnamon Maple. Um, I do like this scent. It, it really does give me like maple sugar drizzle vibes from Better Homes and Gardens. It smells good. Like I, I'm not a huge gourmand bakery person, but this is a scent that I could get behind, um, especially in the fall winter season, maybe not spring summer so much. Um, I just, my biggest gripe with this one is that it's not terribly unique and maybe that's a good thing because I think they took a couple risks here and some of them paid off and some of them didn't quite pay off. Hmm. Fluffy fleece. Um, but that would be a solid number three, like middle of the pack, not like absolute favorite, 
potential club worthy, but probably not for me personally. Um, but again, I don't necessarily think it's anything, um, you know, life changing or life altering. And then we are left with the last two. And this is a hard one for me. But so theoretically, I would say that they're a tie for the last place for fourth place. But if I really had to rank them all, I think f number four would be Fluffy Fleece by like the tiniest hair of a margin. And it's not because I think, ooh, the deodorant smell is so much better than Sweet Orange Pomander. Actually, I feel like this one is far more holiday. Uh, I think it's more that I just, I'm not a very big spice category person. And I think that if I was more interested in spice categories, it would be the reverse. It would be Pomander on top, followed by Fleece in last place. So this is really only winning by a hair, and it's only because it's not just a spicy scent to begin with. Um, but it smells like deodorant to me. It smells like Secret. I'm pretty sure that's the name of the brand. Go to the store. If you have a store nearby, find a stick of deodorant, Secret brand, and compare it to this bar. If and or when you get it, or if you have a sample of this. And tell me I'm wrong. I mean, I could be wrong. But that's what I'm getting from it. And it's just, it's it's a mood. So I'm going to see what I can do. Maybe I can mix it with some other things and make it smell different or more exciting. But there's that. And then finally, Sweet Orange Pomander. Just by, lost by a hair. And that's only because it's a little bit spicier than I would prefer. But I really love the Sweet Orange scent that is in here. I think that is spot on. And if you were looking for a Pomander scent... This is a phenomenal one compared to many of the other spice-based scents that we have out around this time. So that is my take on all of these. Let me know if you have similar rankings or completely different rankings, uh, if you got similar vibes from me or different vibes. Uh, and as always, consider subscribing if you're new here, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.